Hey y'all, good morning Graves. It's me, Lisa. And I am about to depart for work. I'm actually gonna go get a hot chocolate, I think, before I go. And today, the fireplace guy is supposed to come and do the fireplace. The screen that we have, the glass that we have, we wanted one single glass. And instead we got like a, the folding door glass one. So he's supposed to come fix it, but he said he was gonna come between 12 and three. I have a hair appointment at three, so he better not come at 2.45, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Or Marvin better be home. That's my other news. I'm getting my hair done today, so I'm just putting it up in a little ponytail bun situation, although it looks kind of off-centered, if I'm gonna be honest here. Um, I'm not really good at the messy bun, like, thing situation like I think I'm supposed to like wrap it around and so I'm not gonna do that because that's just making it worse I think but I think my eye makeup looks pretty good all right y'all today you want to see what I'm wearing today okay I know you didn't ask but here we go I have on a basic black tee short sleeve kind of scoopy down like it's not like a straight hem, it's like a scoop hem or something, rounded hem, I don't know. My, I think these are Calvin Klein's or something. I don't know, and my Nikes. To be perfectly honest, this is the kind of outfit I feel best in. I don't, well, you're not like best, I don't know, just comfortable. So, uh, I feel comfortable in like t-shirts, just relaxed loungewear all day. If I could be in pajamas all day, and not look like I, well, you know, I'm just saying. But I wouldn't go anywhere wearing pajamas because I, I I can't do that. But I made my bed. That's pretty awesome. And that's Captain sleeping over there. He feels better this morning. Oh, and let me show you. Did I show you yesterday? I can't remember if I did or not. But I brought those boxes from storage and I only put up, I didn't even empty them actually. But what I did do, wow, that's bright. Um, this is my office and it's oh, really messy. But so over here is where I was gonna put the bookcase and I was gonna put the, the places, oh, the places we go where I'm getting a sign made. I haven't decided where or who or anything like that. But anyway, I was gonna put the bookcase right over here, okay? And my desk is right here. So now I'm not putting it there. So I'm gonna move this desk down just a little bit and I'm gonna store my flat lace stuff right there, I think, and my light for filming and stuff right there. So here is where, let's turn on the light so we have light in here. Here's where I am putting the bookcase. Right when you come in, it fits right under, my concern was originally, this is originally what I was gonna do with it anyway, but my concern was the um, uh, the light switch. And as you can see, it, it's the, it's got like a gap there. There's not, it's not right up on the light switch and it's not covering it up. So I'm like, perfect. And um, Marvin painted it for me. I showed you that guy showed y'all that the other day Marvin painted it for me he did not paint this area because this is what my dad did back in 1986 so we're leaving that don't touch it don't do anything to it I know it's a different color I know it it's maybe not what you would have on yours but my dad did it so I'm making sure that it stays on my bookcase and then I'm gonna hang this map on the map, I've put these little pins of the places we've gone. I turned off the light because there's like a lot of back glare. But anyway, I put pins to signify all the places we visited and been. But obviously not everything is on there yet. Not obviously. Why would it be obvious to you? It's obvious to me because I know I've been some other places that are not notifi notified. That are not... What is the word? Notated? That wasn't really what I was thinking. But anyway, they're not pinpointed on this map here, so um, I'll put more in there later, but 
we were traveling and doing um moving so i wasn't able to keep the map updated sorry but um i've cleaned up in here a little bit too i've cleaned off the counter i've got that almost all cleaned off again i've got almost all the paperwork that was in that corner cleaned up so remember i was telling you guys the other day what i'm gonna do is like put my house in like sections and so this is the fireplace over the fireplace this is how i'm going to decorate it and then i'll kind of sketch out some ideas look on pinterest look on instagram and get my ideas and then i'm just going to like say okay i need a large mirror i need a white thin vase i need a purple orchid or whatever 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 is going to happen up there I'm going to um, have it written down so that way when I go shopping when I go whatever then I can just go oh I did need that you know bright red bright red whatever chair or whatever I don't know do you know what I'm saying just like something I have a list I know what I need instead of like oh man you know also this is going to be of no interest to probably anybody watching, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is my laundry room. And I don't have it decorated any, any way at all. It's just, just the laundry room. I know some people put up like laundry or wash and dry or whatever. I just haven't done anything like that yet. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't done it yet. But we have what we call our winter closet or our secondary master, our second closet. I sometimes call it second closet or the winter closet. Anyways, here is the dirty clothes hampers. And I have two. And behind here, I have them kind of pulled out a little bit. I'm going to put like, and when I say I'm going to, we all know it's Marvin. I'm going to put like three or four hooks here so I can hang up like my backpack and my tote bags. I can hang them all back there. The ones that I kind of use when I travel or when I go to things or events or whatever. Like when we go to the state fair, I usually take my backpack with me or something like that. I can just sling on my back, not have to worry about it. And then of course, like I want cuter ones or nicer ones when I'm traveling and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do in there. If you have any ideas, leave me a comment below and let me know because I'd be interested to hear your ideas. Here's, here's one thing that Marvin does. I'll show you. Marvin always leaves a little bit of change on the nightstand and then the pile like grows and grows. I don't, I don't know why, why don't you just do something with it? So I'm going to take the change and I'm going to put it in the bag. But I think what I'm going to do is like put it in the um, savings account or something like so I know it's separate and then um, I'm going to say Marvin. The change from your nightstand equaled $82, you know, or whatever it's going to end up equaling. Uh, today is day two of my, and I'm not going to remember the day, so don't even try to track this. But today's day two of my, like, new outlook on life. This is my 52nd year. I'm 52 years old. And I want this year to be even better than all the years before it. So... In order for me to do that, I have to make some changes. So yesterday I I ate healthier, I ate higher protein, which is a better thing for me. And um, I didn't. I don't think I lost 10 pounds, and I don't know why, but I'm just kidding. I uh, Marvin went to go get a croissant. The reason I'm telling you this is because uh, Marvin went to go get a croissant today, and he had to buy one get one free. We live right next door to a Jack in the Box, so anyway. So he went to do the buy one, get one free, and he brought it back and he was like, oh, I'm, you know, I got your breakfast. And I'm like, oh, and I'm not telling him like I'm doing high protein because I don't want to make it a thing. I just want to just be doing it, you know, and we're going out to eat tonight at a Mexican restaurant and I'm going to get frijitas, fr frijitas, frijitas, fajitas and guac. And that's what I'm going to eat for supper anyway. So I was like, oh, okay, thanks. So I took off the croissant and it came right off. It separated right off and I just ate the bacon. It, I think it has bacon, ham, and egg and cheese. I think that's what was on it. 
So that's what I had for breakfast and I put the croissant in the trash and I was like, I bought bread, but I love carbs. So, story of my life. All right guys, I'm gonna get ready for work. I'm ready for work. I'm gonna leave. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave for work and I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate. Cause yeah, yeah, I know that's carbs, but I'm trying to, I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna not. Maybe I'll get a grande today. The fireplace guy came early and he's already gone. I didn't even have time to film. He was, he was here for 10 minutes. I'm not even joking, but my fireplace. As it turns out, I ended up staying with the one with the doors. He said that he recommends it because you can open it and let the heat come into the room faster and when you're cleaning it and stuff like that. And really, we've been fine with it. I just like the sleek one, like solid pane look, but he also replaced these, um, the logs because he said, do y'all remember, did I explain this in a vlog? I think I did, I feel like I did. Maybe when I go back and edit everything, I'll see it. But um, he said that the logs that were in there were for the smaller um, fireplace, uh, the same fireplace, but just the, a smaller one, I guess. And so I was like, so that would be why the logs didn't fit correctly. Thanks. And then he said, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the company because the guy that came out is the very, very first guy that came out. And he had like, he had the diagram. He knew how to put stuff together like this one. He was putting it all together and like, I was, I was very pleased. Um, because when I asked the, even the boss guy, when I asked him and I asked the other guy, I'm like, don't you need to have a diagram or something? Don't you need to, like, aren't they supposed to go a certain way? And he's just like, no, you just put them in there. And I'm like, no, you don't. And I was right. You don't just put them in there. You're supposed to put them a certain way so that the air flows and the gas and the air mixture works perfectly to create a great flame. And he put the embers in there. He put more lava rocks in there for me. I am very happy. I'm very happy. So... I like how it looks. Um, again, I'm gonna go to work now. I've got about two hours, two and a half hours to work and get some stuff done. So I'm gonna knock out a bunch of stuff and get it done and get caught up on all the things that I've missed this morning as I was doing errands. So actually the only errand, that's a lie. I basically just lied to you, I guess. I actually just went to um, get a hot chocolate. Productivity level is not quite as high as I was trying to make it out, <laughs> but I did get ready and I have um, My hair appointment today and then we have a dinner at a restaurant Dinner at a restaurant sounds fancy Marvin has his democratic meeting and I go because I like the restaurant that it, they hold the meeting at and so I'm gonna go get fajitas and guac Yes, It's gonna be delish no flour tortillas, even though they're homemade. Y'all, they're homemade. Oh gosh, I love it. But they're not as homemade as like homemade homemade because it's like on a machine. I mean, a lady's like patting out the ball and then she puts it on the machine, it flattens it, and it cooks it and all that kind of stuff. But still, I love homemade tortillas, just do. I like the smell of them just reminds me of my grandmother. But I'm gonna go now because I'm rambling again. I don't know how long this I've been rambling three, almost four minutes. That's not super bad. I mean, it could be worse, but I'm feeling really good because I straightened up my bedroom. I'm straightening up the house and I feel just so much better when it's organized and cleaned up. It doesn't have to be like spotless, like eat off the floor, but I do like it organized and straightened up. I just really do. It just makes me feel happier. So I'm feeling happy now. All right, I'm gonna go. Welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today, I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's almost empty. And I'm 52 years old. 
Also, I'm getting my hair done today, and so I pulled it back in a ponytail. In the last ponytail loop, I just pulled it like halfway through to make kind of like a messy bun, but I don't think that's how you do it. Looks like it might rain today as well, so what, what? Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about is I just got my fireplace fixed, and you're saying, fixed? You're in a brand new house. What's broken about it? When they put the fireplace in, I was supposed to have a single glass pane, okay? That's what I wanted. Somehow, some way, somebody, not me, made like damage the glass basically. And you could hardly see it, but I could. So of course I wanted it fixed. And the guy that came out, he was like, I didn't do it. And I'm like, I didn't say you did. <laughs> but I didn't do it. And it's brand new, so I want I want a non damaged one. <laughs> Thank you. There was a whole little bit of drama about that. And so the next guy they sent out was, I think, supposed to be like the manager or supervisor or something. I don't know. But I'm going to be honest. He didn't really, he didn't really know what he was doing either. So he was just like putting the, I said, isn't, isn't it supposed to go in a certain way? So then fast forward to today, the very first guy that came out that knew what he was doing is the guy that came today. So I was like, he told me that the logs that were in my fireplace were actually for the smaller version of that model fireplace. And so I was like, oh, okay. And then he added more lava rocks. It's starting to rain. Um, also, he put in the, em he fixed the embers. And I'm like, mom was happy. And then he fired it up. He explained more. He answered more of my questions. So I'm like a super happy camper. So kind of like my question is this, like, if you, obviously I had a good experience with this particular guy, so I'm going to call and I'm going to compliment him. But do you do that? Do you call to compliment? I mean, I, I'll call to complain, but I also call to compliment. I really do. I mean, because like this guy's like a good representation of the company. You need to send him out on all the jobs. I'm just saying. One of the plumbers just pulled in and he's got his windows down and I'm like, Hey, it might start raining, you know, cause it's already sprinkling. And he's like, Oh, it's okay. It's my wife's car. And then he said, I smoked a cigarette and I need to let it air out. I'm like, okay, okay. Well, you also going to have to like wet back it. I mean, it's not raining yet, but I just, I feel mildly concerned about somebody else's car that's going to get wet. Anyway, back to my conversation. Do you call and leave compliments when somebody does a great job? Let me know. That's what I wanted to talk about today. So I look forward to hearing all of your stories about if you call and compliment or not. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Also, if you're his wife, the plumber's wife, I, tr I tried to tell him, roll the windows. I'm inside Charming Charlie and I'm looking for something to spend my $5 gift certificate on. They give you $5 on your birthday every year and which is fantastic but I'm not really finding anything that I just can't live without. I mean okay so I like this. This top here. But it's $16 so I'd still be paying $11 and I want something that's like $6 so I'm just paying $1. Where's the stuff for like $5? Thanks. Okay, I know that sounds cheap, but I mean, I'm just being real. I just don't want to spend much more than $5. I ended up finding a little headband for $6 at Charming Charlie, so I got it for $1.08. And then I got my free gift at Sephora. I forgot about that until I was in the store. I was like, wait a minute. Sephora gives a free birthday gift too. So, and it's a Kat Von D eyeliner, a lip color, and and a translucent powder so i'll show you in a second now these are super tiny samples but they're samples nonetheless so little tiny one but i mean it's good for travel size it's kat von d um and look at this little translucent powder one actually that's super cute the lip color now i mean but hey, it's a sample and I can try it. So that's cool. And it was a birthday gift. So thank you for the birthday gift, Sephora. I do appreciate it. It's tattoo liner, locket, setting powder, and studded kiss. So there you go. And the headband is 
like I said, it was six dollars. I think it was on clearance. It was normally ten, and it's great. I was actually looking for black, but they didn't have it. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna wear it right now. But there you go. We got another shipment of this every plate, and this time we're going to be making chicken sausage penne with butter roasted tomato sauce. We're also going to be having creamy smothered pork chops and honey glazed chicken. That sounds tasty. It comes packaged like this and all the ingredients are inside and it's got some um, down in the bottom it has the what do you call it? Like freezer pack things? So it keeps it frozen or keeps it cool until you're able to unpack it and put it in the refrigerator and freezer. Now we're getting ready to go to the meeting and dinner, but I need to post one more thing, if not two more things, for Wing Moms before we head out. Here we are! We're going to Martinez! Yeah. For supper! Hey y'all, I did not end, I don't think I ended yesterday's vlog. So, I just, I don't know why I didn't. I posted, we got home from dinner, I posted, and yeah, I guess I just forgot. So anyway, I'm gonna end yesterday's vlog right now. I hope you guys had a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because I got that every plate box and we're gonna be doing another cooking with Lisa and Marvin or cooking with Marvin and Lisa show. Marvelous, ooh, we could do, we could call it Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa, get it? M-A-R-V-L-I-S, Marvelous, like a, a, a mashup of our names. Ah, it's a fantastic idea. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, be kind to others. Bye.